right, y'all, we got two and one. So let's go ahead and get rolling because you know I can talk your ear off if you let me. This is Ashley. Welcome on back to my channel. So like I mentioned just a second ago, we kind of like have two videos in one. I've been filming all day. We have part of the beautiful Odin's Eye Legendary Diversa Collection, and I'll explain in just a moment. So if you're new to this channel, welcome. If you're Odin Bagudi, welcome on back. My name is Ashley. I have a doctor in pharmacy, and I love makeup. So that's how you get Dr. Ash and her makeup. So like I just mentioned, we got two out of the three palettes from the Legendary Diversa collab part two, okay? So just like last time, I went ahead and I picked up Annette's Makeup Corners palette and Tina the Fancy Face. Now Judy does have a palette and I thought it was really pretty but it's very pastel and I just didn't think that that would be the best complimenting palette for my skin complexion. And um, her palette, unfortunately, last time I didn't get it, I thought it was pretty as well. But it was very red and I don't know, all of those reds sometimes, I can work with the red shadows, but those reds were kind of giving modern renaissance vibes and modern renaissance didn't quite work for my complexion. It just kind of looked like a whole red blob across my eyes. So these palettes actually, uh, when did they launch? Oh my gosh, when did they launch? Hmm. I want to say the 16th of February and I got these super quick. I just like looked up where the tracking information. I got my information and I looked up, I was like delivered in mailbox. So they sent these really, really quickly. So each palette is basically like around two, something kind of characteristic of their home country. So I do have the palettes from... Let's see, last time we have Tina and Annette's here. So the last time Tina had the Hummingbird palette and they're set up the same way and I really like that. And there are multi-chromes in each of the new palettes. So that was the Hummingbird palette. And now we have the Earthwood palette. Look how vibrant that looks. Oh, it looks so beautiful. And it's definitely a really earthy color story with some pops of color and it's really beautiful. This one does have a multi-chrome, which is right down here. And it's the one I have on my eyes. Oh, and it did not come to play at all. And then for Miss Annette in her makeup corner. <laughs> so this was her giant wolves. Love these. When these two palettes came out the last go round, I want to say they came out in 2021. I was like, oh my gosh. That's wild. They came out in 21, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because I took these. Yeah, it was 21 when these came out. So, wow. Okay, so when these came out, I was in love with these palettes. Still love these collections, this collection. I think it's part of the best parts of my collection. And then now we have this one, which is the Mighty Monster. And I just love how opulent the packaging looks. Odin's Eye always nails it with the packaging. The palettes actually retail for $36.99 a piece and they did have a bundle where you could get all three and they released lip products with this collection too. And they had the scarves and the magnets and the keychains just like they usually do with Odin's Eye. However, I just opted to get the two palettes. I don't need any more lip products right now okay and then we do have a multi-chrome in this palette which is the shade right here and it did not come to play so this is like two videos in one i've been filming all day got three looks on each palette for you so let's go ahead and get started i'm gonna <laughs> get into the first palette which is going to be the mighty monster palette and then i'll follow up with some thoughts and then we'll jump into tina's palette so let's go ahead and get started all right, so crazy thing, right? I got ready to film with this palette last night and then I got ready to check my mic, battery dead. So I was like, okay, I'll do a couple other things that I need to do, you know, instead of film. And I go to bed kind of early, get up, get ready to go to work, get up in enough time so I can actually put some eyeshadow on. So I have played with this palette and then get to work 
only to find out that I still am on PTO for one more day. So I ran up out of that. I said, oh, let me go talk to the store manager. We just go ch chat it up with her real quick, buy what I need to buy, which was another battery for the mic um, and a couple other personal care items. And I was like, deuces. Now, crazy thing is I ran out of there fast. So then I had to take my alternate way home because I have a reverse commute. And you guys know I live in Chicago, so I have a reverse commute. So everybody's still going downtown. And it only takes like 15, 20 minutes to get to work. And it's not very far. And I work like in a neighborhood where I actually grew up in. But <laughs> literally, I was like, oh, I ain't getting on this day in Ryan. I'm going to get right here off of Stony Island. I'm going to say Stony Island down. <laughs> so if you know, if you know, if you live in Chicago, you know what that is. So I am going to start with Annette's palette and I did just create a look like, like I said, with it and it was really pretty, but it wasn't executed the best because A, I was rushing. Well, the eyeshadow didn't look bad, but then I wasn't particular about my eyeliner. I was looking over and my makeup looked cute though when I over, but it was just not the greatest looking. So what I can tell you. What I like about the palette so far, okay? This purple, gorgeous, really pretty, really pigmented, showed up the color. Um, this shade right here, this purple shade, really pretty. This shade is really pretty. That's like the multi-chrome, dual-chrome type of thing. Um, the blue was very light, so we'll see. I was able to kind of blend it out. And then this teal shade I liked it it gave some depth to that purple because yeah I was like okay this is pretty but it's just like lost and you know the way my eye is set up right here I just kind of need that depth and dimension so this is Annette's palette we're gonna go ahead let's jump on in I'm out of Even in my down times, I can get you out of my mind, sorry. I can get you a thousand days just to find you in my way. Oh, 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 nothing like you in this world. Promise never let it go. Oh, 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 baby, won't you calm down? Wanna know. How you feel about you and me? Them they do too much, but you in control. Loving that about you. Me, I want it all, oh. She my baby doll, oh. Body they hot, oh. Leading out, follow. Me que la tenga poco legio. Yo no de que me atento un tío. I wanna be wherever you go. Me que la tenga poco legio. Yo no de que me atento un tío. You got my heart and I think you know Baby girl. And I done run a thousand days Just to find you in my way Let it go. 
know one got it. Even in my down times, I can't get you out of my mind, sorry. I can't get hey, you out of my mind. I didn't run a thousand days just to find you in my way. About you and me, them they do too much, but you in control. Loving that about you, me I want it all. Oh, she my baby doll. Oh, body they hot. Oh, leading out follow. Me que la tenga poco lejos, yo no te pe ma tanto un tío. I wanna be wherever you go. Me que la tenga poco lejos, yo no te pe ma tanto un tío. You got my heart and I think you know Baby girl. And I done run a thousand days Just to find you in my way All right, I am back and here are the two looks. So basically, like I said, I recreated what I so-called wore to work <laughs> like an hour and a half ago. And But this time I went ahead and paired it with this multi-chrome gel liner by Col ColourPop Cosmetics. This is Ventura Boulevard because I thought it would play nice with the purples, give it a little contrast, also pick up, you know, what's going on with my shirt. But everything performed really nicely. I'm not going to harp on the shadow performance too much right now because we are going to do the other palette and I don't want it to be too long. And for this particular uh, eye, I went ahead and did half of like just like the inner corner of my waterline with the shade, what is this, Movie Star, uh, also by ColourPop, and then finished off with my black liner by, um, what is it, Pat McGrath Labs. And so my face details, I have on my Rare Beauty Foundation in shade 430W. I have on the Fenty Concealer in 350, my good old Juvia's Place Bronzer Duo in the shade tan. And then for my blush, I actually went in with this shade called uh, Lavish. I really like it. This is a liquid cream or actually chick cheek and lip flush by Glaminaceous Cosmetics. It's coming out actually on Friday, no Saturday, Saturday the 2nd at 6 p.m. or if you're in the other half of the world, it'll be Sunday. So 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for people here in the States. And I do have a code. So it's Dr. Ash and they do double as lip products. And I did it in my video with the uh, Glaminatrix Pretty and Pastels. But oh my gosh, both of the looks are so pretty. This purple shadow is amazing. And if you saw what I meant about that purple matte, it does not play. It is staying true to the shade. And I love how you could just pop that in. And it kind of gave it like a blue cast, but it just made that shade deeper. And that's why I like that everything was kind of like able to lay on top of each other. And then the Glow Vortex shade is a stunning in the corner shade as well. I think that would be so pretty all over the lid as well. Um, Migrant Gleam, I was not expecting to have this orange slash green pop. And I thought that was, was really beautiful. And then I paired Electrum. Electrum is a little bit stickier and more of like a wider gold just to kind of give a little contrast with the red. But overall, I'm really happy. I'm gonna talk more about the performance after we do the next look. So let's go ahead and jump into one more look for the Mighty Monster palette.
All right, I am back and here is the third eye look with the Mighty Monster palette. I think it is gorgeous. You know I love greens and teals mixed with purples and then adding this little orangey dual chrome shade, the Glow Vortex shade right there uh, over the, the top part. I think it just came out really, really pretty. And the shadows performed very well. So for the waterline, I just went ahead and used my Pat McGrath Extreme Black uh, Liner for this particular look. The lashes are still my Ardell 420, which is the Naked Lash. I like this lash because it's, you know, it has a little drama, but it's not too much drama and everything else on my face is the same. Now let's talk about the little Mighty Monster palette. So I really love, you know, the packaging is really pretty the holographics on the packaging so you can kind of see that when I move the packaging around and the color story is just really gorgeous it's really fun I love the pop of purple I love how this matte purple is actually like a true purple like it's purple it doesn't leave it doesn't change its pigmentation once you start blending it out I think that's pretty much true for all the mattes the only matte that I wouldn't say that I had really an issue with is this blue shade and I'll have to try it again I used it to blend out um, Orphidium which is the purple when I tried to use well when I used it when I went to work I didn't really use it too much um, when I created the look the first time or well, on camera basically the red is really pretty I like how I was able to mix it with the brown to kind of give it a really deeper shade I really enjoyed all of the shimmers that I would say probably my least favorite shimmer or the one I used the least would definitely be the Electrum uh, because I just had a tiny bit on there to kind of bridge the gap with this particular shade but these shades are so beautiful I feel like the palette is really cohesive you have the two brown shades I would definitely say if you're a little bit deeper than me then this brown is not going to really do anything but I did like how it created a gradient when I went in with the deeper brown uh, the shimmers basically feel like the standard Odin's eye shimmers like they're creamy they're a little bit sticky of a formula this particular formulation is pretty smooth but these two are definitely the more stickier formulations because they definitely have like the more glitters in them and they definitely want to have to press them out I definitely recommend using a glitter glue. I think that is the best way to attack Odin's eye shimmers. They picked up well with my finger and somewhat with a brush. Uh, for usually, you know, my inner corner, I'm always going in with my flat definer brush by Sonia G. It's like one of my favorite brushes of all time to just kind of do right here in an inner tear duct. Also, to fix any particular shadow that I do with my finger, I can go ahead and just define the shape of the shadow. And it usually does pick up multi-chrome shades pretty well, but I initially I like putting them down with my fingers. Um, let's see, Solar Burst was really pretty as well. I think it popped really nicely on my skin tone. I do think that maybe if you're a tiny bit darker that you might... Mm, you might have a little bit of trouble with the shade, but I do think that that shade works better if you use a more tightly packed brush. So I wouldn't use like a really, you know, fluffy crease brush or anything like that to lay it down like this. I definitely went in with this more dome brush and they definitely help keep the color intact. This is a E, uh, no, a B5 by Blend Bunny Cosmetics. And that was very helpful just to kind of buff it all over the crease and keep the color of the shade so overall i'm really really pleased i really really like this palette it's really pretty the formula is on par like how it was with the last palette that annette did and you know this is the giant wolf palette one of my favorite palettes in my collection um and I think it's a, just a really great color story. I think she did an excellent job, once again, of curating the shades and making sure that, you know, the palette's cohesive, but you get a bunch of different looks that you can create with this. You can go very warm, sunsetty. You can go cool. You can go cool and warm together. So I think it provides a lot of different options. You could do a little bit more neutral. You could have some colorful. You got the multi-chrome. So it's kind of, it's like the best of all worlds. So I really, really like this and like I said the formula is really nice and it's back to that same legendary diversa formula that we had before because um unfortunately I don't know what happened with the um the creators um 
with um, Lauren May Beauty. And when they did that particular collab, that three with the C, it, it just didn't work out, that formula. But this, I'm loving. All right, so I'm going to take this off. I'll probably take myself a little eye break <laughs> so my eyes do not become too irritated. And that is the wrong Tina palette. We're going to go in with Tina's palette, which is the Earthwood. And I'm going to create three looks with this particular palette as well. I really like this side. It's neutral, but it has like something to offer, especially with the uh, beauty shade, which is the bright green multi-chrome. Like look how it looks with that bronze shade, which is strength right here. And these definitely had nice performance, but I like the colors of this one, but it's, I don't know, structurally, it's just not doing something for me. So I'm gonna figure it out in just a second. All right, so I grabbed the makeup wipe, and first I'm gonna start with the outer corner. Cause sometimes I can't tell if the shape of the eye look is kinda off. And that's the whole thing, really. It's just like the shape and my dimensions and proportions. So I like the way the shimmers look. I like the red shade, or the corally shade, but I do think I pulled that up a little bit too high in my crease area right there. So, we're gonna hope this works. I am going to take a small blending brush and you see how she has earth here. You got earth. Boop, boop, boop. Mm, we got earth, but first, I'm just gonna take my makeup wipe because I, I already know, like, it's just, and this is how you save a look, guys. 
off like you like it but your proportions are off it's like yeah no <laughs> okay <laughs> all right where's my blending brush well, where did i set it just that fast oh here it is okay all right so i really don't have too much primer on right there but i'm going to go in with the shade earth which was the real tan shade. I'm just gonna kind of like buff that out. I was gonna use it like as a racer type, but I didn't think that that was gonna work. And now, like that brush kind of stiff. I haven't used this Wayne Goss 20 in a minute. Now I'm gonna go back in with like my coral shade. Keep that a little closer there. Do, 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 do. I kind of see the line of demarcation. It's getting a little interesting. Okay. I'm going to go in with my reference 21. Just wiping it off on the other side. Going back in with Blossom. This is a really pretty, like, lavenderish shade. pull that up and I kind of lost my whole petal mat which was the darker I think my boyfriend jinxed me he was just like I've never seen you do a bad look how do you know if it's bad or if it's you or the shadow I was like oh, I can usually tell if it's me look at it giving bad we're gonna fix it though we're gonna fix it okay and it's not the shadow. It's okay. Okay, going back in, what is this, Coast? That's this shade. Kind of gives green next to this blossom shade. It's purpley. <coughs> it's like a smoked purple. Smoked lavender. And we're gonna pull that up. Now I'm gonna go back in with another blending brush. Just gonna wipe it off on my towel. I wipe everything off. I have a little towel right here. I'm going back in with Petal. That was that smoky shade. Okay. And let's see. <laughs> I'm just gonna like dig in a little harder to kind of blend out that little line. I see from the makeup place. Alrighty. Woo. Better. I'm just gonna blend out that little petal line. Not bad. Execution was off. Love this. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll be back. I'm going to fix my makeup up. I put on my liner. I didn't put on my lashes. I really thought I put on my lashes. What the hell happened? I'll be back. I had pulled them off. Because apparently, I thought I was done with this part. I don't know. Don't know. So, <laughs> what I was saying is, I like how this look came together. It, it, it ended up working out very well. I don't really particularly like this little line right here from when I took the makeup wipe. So, I probably should have let that dry down but the shape is so much better so anytime you make a mistake just kind of go ahead fix your shape up if you can you know especially if you're pretty much can see the vision of your look but you need to tweak a few things and um i mean everything else it worked out really well i really like how that particular aqua shade kind of turned into green next to like this smoke purple i think like that is so pretty and i do think that the life shade and the petal shade is really pretty you know i like uh, these type of deep plummy mats. So um, also, 
this has a really nice texture as well and I just love how this neutral look came to life on the other side and I was pleasantly surprised by this particular multi-chrome because it's so this beauty it's like lime green in the pan and then I put it on I'm like it's a fiery orange shade so this side I'm super in love with because it just brings something like a super elevated neutral to the look I mean it is the earthwood palette so Everything as far as my face details have been the same except for in this particular look I went in with my purple liner and this is acting up. This is a part of the ColourPop line and then for This eye, I just took a hunter green liner. It's actually my liner from Oh, yes from the glam shop Poland, but it's just a deep green hunter liner and yeah, so I'll be back with one more look and then we can go ahead and wrap up the video. Here is the third and final look for Tina's palette, the Earthwood palette, and this look is just beautiful. It's very, it's mustardy green, it's fiery, and like I said, that shade Beauty is just amazing how it transforms because it's definitely like a multi-chrome on Paul multi-chrome because it's definitely orange with the hint of the lime green and it pairs well with this nice hunter green for the waterline I just went back in with my hunter green pencil and then I did finally add in some highlight and it's just my favorite peachy gold highlight from Maybelline Master Chrome and that's discontinued but it's so many peachy gold highlighters out there that you can use so let's go ahead and talk about these palettes because oh I've been sitting here for a long long time because this is like two videos in one and I had to take some eye breaks and it's like two o'clock already I started filming this at 10 30 I did post a reel I posted a short I ate lunch I ordered my Inslee Rain palette mm -hmm, groovy garden but whoo <laughs> I'm ready to get up okay so let's start with Tina's palette first because I have that on so once again like it's gorgeous you know the the artwork the attention to detail and I think she did such a great job with this particular palette now I want to say I feel like there are less shimmers are there less shimmers than the next? okay she has five Tina only has four so there are less shimmers because I kind of felt like mm, no, I'm lying. They both have five shimmers. It's just the way they're set up, I guess, because they both do have five shimmers. I really like the color selections of her palette. I think it's definitely like muted with a pop of color. It's definitely giving spicy, elevated neutral, which I do appreciate because, you know, if I'm going to go for a neutral palette, it's definitely got to be like giving a little something, got something else to offer, something like just grab you in a little spicy and like the shade beautiful is working for me for sure now I did feel that okay I did not use vitality which is the purple but I did feel like heel is a pretty color but I just felt like it could be darker it's not supposed to be a lime green but kind of like a muted olive green 
You know what I mean? So I wasn't looking for it to be bright, but I felt like it could be a little bit more pigmented, especially because Tina and I are about the same complexion. So I did feel like it works well as a blend out shade, but it was a little lacking in pigment. I felt like life was a nice pop. I can't tell you about this one. And I only used, what was this, Earth, um, just to kind of blend out like when I was struggling across the palette. So that one is kind of like exactly my shade. But I did find that wood was really, really pretty. So really nice color. So I really like the color selection. The color story just kind of seems all over the place a little bit. When you look at it, it's like bold, it's color, but then you're not sure. But when she swatched it out, what gravitated to me was when she swatched it out in like little color blocks and you were able to kind of see the complete color stories. And I'm like, oh, this does make sense because at first you're like, what is happening? But as I put the looks together, everything kind of makes sense. Everything glides on really nice. The shimmer performances in this particular palette are very, very nice. Now, Beauty does have that high slip intensity, mostly chrome finish, and the rest of the shimmers, they're not like that sticky formula that you so much have in a net um, palette where you can kind of see like how textured these two shimmers are. But basically, her shimmers are actually like a lot smoother as you might be able to notice right here. So the performance really wasn't bad. Like I said, I definitely went ahead and used the glitter glue because I'm not playing. I don't have time to play. And um, I feel like you can use it with a brush. You can use it with your finger, but everything picked up really, really nicely. I think the most textured shade would be the shade Coast, which is kind of like this flea foam green, but I popped it here in the middle of the inner corner just to give it like a little bit more dimension to the look, especially with the multi-chrome. So it wasn't just like fire and we have a little bit something else to kind of grab the multi-chrome attention. And um, I think it uh, played really nicely. So overall, I'm really happy with the palette. I really like the shade Leaves, which is the shade right here, um, and the brown shade and petal because like I said, I really like a deep plum shade and I felt like this just kind of matched with everything. I am interested in playing with Vitality, this purple. But like I said, it was like, I know it's not supposed to be long, but I just felt like it could just be a little bit more pigmented. It's leaning a little bit, I don't know. It doesn't have a white base, so it's just kind of weird to say. It's just not as pigmented as I need it to be. And so and we're just gonna wrap up real quick on Annette's palette. Like I, like I said, I really like all the color choices in this particular palette too. The pops were really nice and the shimmer choices. So overall, I'm really happy with the two palettes that I picked up out of this collection. I think that the price point was really great, $36. I'm pretty sure like the quality of Judy's palette is really great. Also, I know it was last time and a lot of people liked that palette. I didn't get her palette last time because it was really red and on my warm complexion with red, sometimes it could just look washed out a little muddy so I didn't pick it up and this time I didn't pick it up because it's very pastel and I didn't feel like it was enough shades in that palette to anchor looks down where I can pull it off because it wasn't enough deep dark shades or just deepening and I really need that pastel palette so I'm okay the one pastel palette I got right now I'm rocking with is my Glaminatrix you know so but overall I really enjoy the looks I think everything came out really beautiful really love this look I really love the the spicy neutral look as I called it and really enjoy like my cool tone look and the warm tone looks that I did with Annette the first and second looks so let me know what you guys think of the looks down below leave me a comment give this video a big old thumbs up hit the notification bell so you know when I come out with another video which will be soon and subscribe to my channel because you know I would love you to be here in my little makeup family and with all of that being said you already know what time it is it's time for the chit dance chitty hey 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 chitty all right y'all bye